Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Trust Us With Your Life, which tonight features a man who has been described as the Canadian Colin Mockery, Colin Mockery, all the way from Birmingham, England, Josie Lawrence, from somewhere near Birmingham, Alabama, Jonathan Mangum, and he just can't stop improvising ever, Wayne Brady. Now, here's your host, Fred Willard. Hi, welcome to the show. Tonight we'll be looking at highlights from the amazing life of our special guest. And at various points, I'll ask our four improvisers to act out what they've just heard. They, of course, have no idea what the guest is going to tell us, so they'd better be paying attention. So let's meet the guest who is trusting us with her life. She's a former Bond girl, a leading TV and film actress, artist, and designer. Please welcome Jane Seymour. You have had such a spectacular career. Thanks for taking a short break to come by and spend a few minutes with us. Uh, so let's get started. Tell us about your upbringing in England. Uh, was it a great childhood? Yes, I'm the daughter of a, a doctor, an OBGYN. Okay. And we used to go and work in the hospital. And um, as auxiliary nurses, in the time we were about four or five years old, and then by the time I was 10, I was actually watching surgery. Wow. Yeah. So, he did not want us to be afraid of blood. Okay. And um, he did not want us to be hypochondriac. So. I got to talk to you because I'm a hypochondriac, so I'll get some tips on you. Well, I'd like to see our improvisers show us their take on your childhood now, starting with Wayne, Colin, and Jonathan. So if you'd like to come down. Uh, the scene is Wayne is Jane's surgeon father who's performing a life saving operation on Jonathan. And Colin is a panicky nurse. Uh, <laughs> Josie, you'll enter as Jane, okay. eager to help things out. You'll start the scene normally, but when you hear the phrase, glee club it. Glee club it. You have to break into song in the style of a glee club. And when you hear back to normal. Back to normal. You must return to the scene as before, OK? Take it away, Wayne, Colin, and Jonathan. <laughs> It's okay. not working, Doctor. It's not working. All right. We're going to have to perform a surgery. Can we get a gurney first? Um, <laughs> all right, I'm ready. It's time to open you up. Okay. Oh, um, Glee Club it. <laughs> well, it's surgery. Let me start. I'm an OBGYN. You've got the wrong part. <laughs> And as I just skip, slip, slip, and I'm gonna keep cutting the open I'm up. Really scared. I think I just might cough. Whatever you do, don't cut it off. Slippy, slippy, cutty, scutty, slip, slip, so, so, slippy, slippy, cutty, scutty. That's Back how the surgery goes. And that's it. We're finished. Oh. Oh. Come here, Daddy. Doctor, Doctor, your daughter's here. Hello, Daddy. Oh. You cutting somebody open again? I've missed you too. Oh, cut him open again just for me, Daddy. All right. We oh. cut it. Oh, it's so wonderful when you cut him open. I'm so happy as through life I'm a Roman. Love to a job at heat, my glove and coming out. Out. Spurt! 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 You will not be a hypochondriac, no. They make surgery sound like fun, didn't they? They did. I especially like that back bend. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, he'll be in the hospital I, soon for he that. He will. He'll be in for that. All right, let's talk about an aspect of your childhood that really interests me. You used to travel with your family a lot through Europe on vacations, didn't you? We did. We, we didn't have a lot of money, but my parents uh, really wanted us to see Europe. So we would follow a river, like the Rhine, for example, and we had this old um, English car, and we'd have all the suitcases. We sat on top of them, and then more suitcases on the roof rack. Oh, boy. And on top
top of that, my mother would have tomato and, and lettuce plants and things, just in case, you know, another war broke out, we might have to, you know, <laughs> plant our own food or something. I don't know what. But uh, it, it was pretty exciting. We never knew where we were going to stop. So you saw, saw pretty much ones. of all of Europe as a, as a youngster. Yeah. Uh, let's see that as a quick scene, which will involve all our performers, starting with Jonathan and Wayne. Now, Jonathan, you are Jane. Uh, and Wayne, you are her father, traveling around Europe in a beat-up old car, for which you're doing all your own sound effects. Colin and Josie, you will play the various people they meet in the different European countries they travel through. We'd like to see how many countries Jonathan and Wayne can correctly guess from Colin and Josie's performances. From across Europe, off we go. Hold on. Tomatoes. All right then. Hey, what's the matter? Hello, my parents. Yeah, yeah. Would you like to buy some apples? Ah, to go with your tomatoes and lettuce. You'll never know when there'll be another war. Ah, no. Over into Germany. I think you're right. Faster, faster, let's go. Wait, come in, come in. Down the hill. Up the hill. Oh, we're out of there. Hello, hello, hello. Bonjour, monsieur. Oh, you are very beautiful, isn't she? We're in Canada. <laughs> Those folks in Paris and France are really, really... Where am I from? <laughs> You're not my father! Get out of the car! <laughs> Daddy! Oh, oh, there you are! Oh, I'm sorry, some Texas bloke came in and... Don't we are! <laughs> All right. All right. I'm Sandy and this is my mate Jethro. Arr. Would you like... <laughs> would you like some cider? Arr. They're from Scotland. Yeah. <laughs> the pirate part of Scotland. <laughs> no, and we, we go to, go to the beach. So aye, 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 aye. 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 Nice Devon cream tea. You're from Devonshire. How did you know that? Because you use Devon and I use my bride. <laughs> Be in Spain. Oh, yes, uh, you are in Spain. Oh, yeah. We must be in the Muslim part of Spain. <laughs> oh, right. Okay, we'll see you after the break for more stories from my fascinating guest, Jane Seymour, on Trust Us With Your Life. Trust us with your life with our guest, the very glamorous Jane Seymour. All right, right now we come to a special part of the show called Face the Music. And to help us with this, please welcome our guest performer, David Armand. <laughs> now, Jane, the way this works is that we'll play in a popular song that has a relevance to you, and David will illustrate the lyrics simply through mime. However, you will be wearing sound-canceling headphones, and we'll have to guess the song purely from David's mime. So put on your headphones now. Okay. Uh, let us know when you can hear nothing. Can you hear me? Anything? She can hear nothing. That's the way we like it. All right, David, are you ready? Yes. Off we go. <laughs> I don't know when I'm stuck in postal prison. Time keeps dragging on. But that train keeps rolling. Oh, now the sad is. When I was just a baby, my mama told me, son, always be a good boy. Don't ever play with guns. Coffee and 
smoke a big cigar. <laughs> Well, as much. And it looked really exciting. <laughs> it was a country song, and as most country, country songs, song. there was a jail involved. That's... Oh, would it be anything to do with, with uh, Johnny Cash? Oh. Indeed. What do you think it was? He was stuck somewhere. Oh, 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 a Folsom Prison? Folsom Prison. Folsom Prison Blue. Well done, Jane, and thank you, David Arman. Now, why do you think we chose that song for you? Um, well, Johnny was a very close friend of ours. He was actually godfather to uh, one of our sons, Johnny Keach. And uh, my husband produced the film Walk the Line. Wow, a wonderful so film. I remember that. Right. A big fan yeah. of uh, <laughs> uh, Okay.